going on? Welcome to Birch Works. Stalling a game winner. Universal Gravity Fee Tube. It's a game winner. I got American Hunter outdoor product here. I got a feeder. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put this together. And that way you can see if this is something that you wanna do. This is the first time I'm doing this. Then my pose for my for my feeder here. This is the piece here. Game winner has three pockets here. It's pretty good. I kind of like it how. Let's see if I can show you in there. You can see how kind of low it is. When I was putting this on, I noticed that there's a, this gasket here. You really gotta make sure it's upwards all the way around. So that way, when you install this, it doesn't, doesn't leak or get water inside there so it's real critical that you make sure that those seals are upwards you see how it's upwards like that it's like perfect and you just want to make sure it's like that all the way around all the way around and once you're good you're good they come with these bolts uh give you the little uh game winner bolts screws washers nuts it says what size uh what number uh you know and numbers that you're putting this stuff together so this is a half inch let me see if it says half inch. Nope, it just says M8, 15 bolt, three piece. When you're looking up on the book here, it's kind of telling you what you got, what comes with it, what brackets, what bolts, how many, Tells you how many, what sizes. So when you start, kind of gives you a little description here on, on how it goes together. This is gonna be step one here. So I just kind of see off what's going on here. And make sure B for the bolts. So when you go for B, got your bolts right there that I got out let's go ahead and just put those on real quick and then we'll take you up to the next next step so we'll just make sure that these go in you know right you don't want to cross thread them because that would not be good so make sure they're going straight evenly perfect don't put them down all the way yet. Set the next one up. Make sure the holes, make sure the holes are lined up. Lined up in there. As you can see it is, so it goes right in. When you're doing stuff like this, it's always best just to kind of Go down what you can, don't overdo it. Cause what you wanna do is kinda go evenly. When you put pressure on that gasket, you really don't wanna overdo things because then you could end up busting that gasket. See how it's getting tight? It's like, ugh, there it goes. So, what you wanna do is make sure that you don't over tighten this these bolts 
you know, because of the fact that that gasket under there is what's keeping the water out of getting inside here where the corn is going to be. So let me, um, let me show you. I got my ratchet here. Make sure that you turn it. It's just a one fourth, uh, half inch, half inch. And basically what you want to do is just, just kind of tighten it up a little bit. Don't go too much. Next one. Don't go too much. Just a little bit. Go to the third one. And you'll see the gasket kind of You'll see the gasket kind of come out of the line where it expands down. So just once you once you get it there, don't don't overdo it. Just just enough where you see it kind of coming down. So you see you see how it kind of goes down. That's and that's that's pretty good. You don't want to overdo it because then you're gonna bust you're gonna bust the gasket. And then you're going to be all upset, like, well, this is a piece of junk. It's getting water and this and that. And not knowing that, well, should it have over tightened it. But it's cool. That's what I'm here for, to show you. Because you know what? I'm the one that's busted it, I don't know how many times, before I, I kind of understood, you know, the concept of this so now we're gonna go to the next step step two we're gonna attach the feed tube body middle and we're gonna use step one using bolt C so we're gonna use these bolts for step two so you got this middle piece here, three, three. So we're gonna see if we can put this together. So you can see, it, it can't go like that. So what you need to do is turn it the other way, where you see where you can slide it right in. And you just line it up with the, with the, you're gonna line it up with that threading in the back of it. See how this one's off a little bit? So we turned it and that's it. Let's check the other side. Maybe it's off. So let's, let's try to turn it around and see if maybe that works. Sometimes rotate it. Don't think that, well, it doesn't work. It might be a little different, like this case was. Was a little bit different. So always try to try two ways. If there is a way to do it three ways, do it three ways. There's no need to think that, hey, it's the end of the world. This is a piece of junk, it ain't gonna work, and this and that. Everything's always built differently, so. So, we're gonna use the bolts. C. Gonna use two bolts. So we're gonna pop two of these out. We go and pop these out. Remember, just two bolts. You don't have to get four or five out. 
Let me see if there's a washer that needs to be there. See, see, doesn't really show any washers. So we'll put one in. I really think that it might be better, might be good to put some washers just in case. If it's not recommended, we can always get some more. I got plenty of washers. Put one there. And get the other one. Put one on the other side. It's very simple. I'm going to show you right now the way I showed you here. Just put the, the washer in. Got this one here. Just going to put it in. Just kind of play with it. You know, try to get it in. Once you get it in there, then... Just keep turning it until you can't go anymore. Same thing on this side. I think this size here is a 10. So let's see if this is right. Got a 10 right here. Let me see if I was right. All right, I was right. I think I had one here. Excuse the mess. I have time to clean up in here. There's always something going on. And you know how that is. Got the tool right here. This tool is a little bit bigger. This is a 3 8 I don't know if you know that, but it's a 3 8 So try not to overdo this. Just try to, you know. I'm gonna show you. Right now, it's just hand tightened, so I'm gonna show you. When you do it, just, just right there. You don't wanna overdo it. All right, a little bit more, where it's not like you can hand tighten or unloosen, but just enough where you can right there. Same thing here, right there. Cause you don't want to overdo, especially on these smaller bolts. Now let's get to step three. This is step three right here. So we're gonna put on this last piece here. It tells you attach the feed tube top. And we're gonna use C again. Let's see. So this is the other piece I was telling you. As you can see. Make sure that the gasket is right. Make sure the gasket's right. So that way, when everything lines up, everything's nice and even. Let me set it up here. That looks okay, perfect. So there it is, lumber again. The washer, to the washer, in there. So, one, just kind of get it going until you can't go anymore. Sometimes it's best not to go all the way where you're real like hard on there, like it's really tight because sometimes you might have to adjust this part and it's like, oh man, but it's too tight. So sometimes it's probably better just to do what you can where it's kind of not tight. So 
so that way when you come to put this other side on you kind of have some play so same thing again don't over time these things just go to where you feel like you got a little bit of pressure got a little bit of pressure when you start getting a little bit of pressure so when you start getting a little bit of pressure a little bit of pressure don't ever use a torque gun or drill gun to do something with very thin material something like this is a big big no-no this is whew, too much power you'll strip all these out and by the time you're done, everything's gonna be loose. Everything's gonna be uptight. You can see this one here, the same thing, pretty, pretty strong. You don't wanna use this. So, now, here comes the fun part. So, now we have to bolt this top part this top part right here we gotta bolt this part on here so i'm gonna take a little minute to organize everything okay i just saw that we need to put this part on the two brackets and let me show you here I put it right there and basically what these are gonna do is you can actually put however much you want to put in there so that way your your uh, feed there will come out as you want so pretty cool thing there and it does come with these T's so that way it makes it a little bit easier for you to put those on. Let's see if we can put those on real quick. Like this. So. Let's see if I can get the other side. Once we get it on there, what I'll do is I'll show you um, what I think would probably be good. Do turn it around. So it seems like I just want to make sure that one side is tying up. Yeah, good point. Things like once you loosen one out, that's pretty good there. So I would say it's about half an inch from that from the part there. So I think it should be all right. Well, like I said, once we take it out to the ranch, well, uh, I'll show you exactly. That'll probably be in another video, but I can show you exactly how it does look. And that way you can see how it kind of comes out. They did give us some, um, you know, the C bolts, but um, I really don't think it would be good for the top. So, because basically what you're gonna do now is is both this part now so let's go ahead and take a little walk around here so you can see what we did so you can see that bracket there bracket there so holding that in place pretty firm there ain't really ain't moving ain't moving at all so that's that's perfect want to make sure that your seals are all right you, you don't want to tighten up too hard because you could bust 
the seal. Then you got your two on the side. Then you got one here. And now, basically what we're gonna have to do is put two here and flip it on there. But as you can see, this is the bolt that they gave us. See how kind of chisty that is? It's kind of chisty there, you know? I don't think that's big enough or sturdy enough. And it looks like this bolt might even, it looks like it, it could, oh shoot, look, it went through. So no, I'm not gonna use these bolts to bolt this down. So if you do get this, you might wanna consider bolting this down with some bigger bolts and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and see if i can find some and i might need some new new uh nuts here because this goes with this bolt and it's just not gonna cut it's not gonna cut it i'm not gonna lie to you they went kind of chicey on that part they could have done a little bit better with some bigger bolts but hey it's all right it's all right. They kind of supply what they think might be good. But at the same time, I just, what I'm looking at is the pressure of the corn in here. And uh, making sure if there's like any strong winds out there, it's not going to knock it down. Or in case the wind does knock down the thing here, but it's never have. So hopefully with these bigger boats it would kind of prevent it from breaking or damaging this system here. So let me go ahead and see if I can find some new bolts. Okay, I had to put my feeder barrel up on some horses here. As you can see now, we got the, we got the cone out of the back here. See, here it is right here. Still in good shape, so. So you can see now we can see where we're at and now we're going to see if we can make a, the holes for the thing here on top. So let me go ahead and put this down, clean this out and we'll get right back to you. Okay, this is what we're doing now. We're going to put on the bottom bracket and basically what you want to do is get a marker, make sure it's lined up perfect. The way you want these circles, go and black them out, black it out, black it out, black it out. Oops. If it moves, make sure it still lines up. We'll black it out, black it out, black it out. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna drill. We're gonna put in some drill, and that way we can have it there steady. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some, um, I think because the bracket's not gonna be holding itself, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go with some tap-in screws. Will probably be the best bet. Check out that, got an X sight. Got the Pro. That's a bad boy right there. Got it on sale too. Whew. Blow it off, blow it off. That shit all over your shit. Making sure. Oh, you know what? Let's before you put it all the way down. Try to hit it on this side. Make sure it's right in the center. Right in the center. Work your way down. You don't have to go fast. Just barely press the trigger. Barely press the trigger. Okay. And eat it through. Eat it through. Eat it through. Eat it through. Blow it off, because you don't want the metal shaving under. So, and just make sure you go straight. 
if you go off to the side, probably not going to be good. So just go straight. Right, okay. Don't go too tight because you don't want to strip it. Just a little tiny. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 pop. If you feel like it's all right, fuck it. Don't go for it. Make sure it's straight. Remember. If you want to, get it out. See this? Be careful that you don't cut yourself. It's kind of sharp. Pretty secure. One more. All right, pretty secure. All right. That's good. Now, this one's a fun one. We have to mark this spot so that way we know exactly where we're gonna put this. So this is how you do it. You're gonna grab your piece. Have your marker ready. Grab your piece. It's kinda heavy. Not gonna lie, it doesn't feel like a cheap little crap. It should just kind of fall in place. Just kind of, kind of look at it, make sure it looks kind of straight. You don't want to have it like that, tilt to the side, and then you try to mark your, your hose and it's off. Everything, everything looks all right. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. So. Let's go ahead and mark it. Remember, you want to go straight down. Straight down. You don't want to try to go off to the side. Straight down. Straight down. Once you mark it, go and raise it up. Put your piece back down over here, out of the way. You got your four holes that you gotta make. So you can see, I found these better bolts compared to this bullshit bolt. See how freaking small that shit is compared to these other ones? So that's what we're gonna put on. So I can't, I can't trust that. I don't want any problems with this thing. So as you can see, let me take off one bolt. Got this good size bolt. Gonna fit right here. And it, fits, and it fits perfect in there. And I didn't really have to modify it too much. Basically what I did I had a same thing here. Put these a little bit tighter so that way they fit kind of upwards and I can just slide it right in. I did use this bit right here. Let's see what size it is, just so y'all know. This is a let's see what does that say? Dwa 3/8. So I did a 3/8 hole in here. Here, here, and here, and that way I can use those bolts. Let's go ahead and put those bolts on and see how this is gonna look. First, what I gotta do is I gotta put these in. I'm gonna have them sticking out like that, and then get the washers out and stuff. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Just to be on the safe side, you can put that on just real quick. You don't have to put it all the way down. Take 
with that. Those those bolts. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> Put this down. Again, sorry about that. Earlier, my thing just cut off, so gotta. Well, here we go. We're actually just putting in the bolts for this thing here, Game Hunter. I've put in a little bit thicker bolts. Uh, this is a size 17. thing I would say is to put some bigger some bigger bolts that way it holds it a little bit better so as you can see did a pretty good job thing is very very secure very secure look at that I move the whole thing with it make sure that when you seat it seats right all the way around as you can see it's perfect make sure that this gasket is perfect flat but there it is i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please uh like subscribe please let your friends know if they want to go hunting want to set something out that's uh more more or less maintenance i i would honestly think um you know you can set up a camera that will be right there pointing at this and that way you can see what comes up so but there it is very very sturdy highly recommend this this is real nice i don't think i'm gonna have any problem with it the only thing that I feel that there was a problem was these bolts that they gave you to bolt this on. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye. This is Burt's Works.